Hey everyone, Cody here, and this video is kind of a, I guess a random video. It seems like, if it seems like a lot of the videos that have been on my channel lately are kind of random, just because I'm trying to find other things to fill the content, uh, to just keep the channel active when I'm not painting, which I have been painting off and on. I haven't been able to record it, so that is why. But essentially, I, I just want to keep the channel about art um, or just kind of, yeah, art in general, um, if not painting specifically. So anyway, I wanted to answer a question that I actually answered on Quora um, that I thought was a really interesting question. Uh, so I figured I'd, I'd answer it here. So the question is, uh, what is the difference between creativity and originality or are originality and creativity the same thing? Well, I looked it up in Google before I answered the question, and creativity is de defined as um, the, having the ability to create or uh, a mark of being able to create original things. And then originality is simply the state of being original, or originality is um, you know, the essence of basically um, being original. So if you look at those two things, they're both adje adjectives, creativity and originality. They're both adjectives. They both describe a state of being. However, the root words are different because original describes a noun, something that is original, or it's still actually, sorry, I apologize. It's still an adjective. Original still defines the thing, but that is the root word. Something is original. It means it means it's a unique thing, or it's one of a kind, or first of a series, right? So it's unique. It's not mass produced. It's not a clone. It's not a copy. It's that one thing. Now, the root word of creativity is create, and create is a verb, not a noun. And so if you think about the difference between the two words, um, a state of, of creativity is different than a state of originality, because originality and original are essentially the same thing. You're saying the same thing oh, it's a, it has originality, um, essentially you're saying it is original. If you're saying something is creative, you're saying that it creates. So here's the difference. Essentially, besides the fact that original stems from a noun and create stems from a verb, if you think about it in the context of people or ideas, this might help you a little bit. So let's, let's talk about original nouns okay so if you think about a thought or an idea if you have an original idea then that means that idea is unique either to you or to the world doesn't really matter it's a unique idea if it's original now i don't i've talked about how i don't think that there's any real unique uh things in the world i think everything is kind of a remix or rehash or whatever right but coming back to it if the th if something is original, that means that it's, you know, one of a kind or unique. So let's say that you have an original idea. Um, and this is original idea is to, you know, it's just to do something, right? But if you don't do anything with that idea, you have this original idea, but you're not being creative if you don't express it. So essentially, you can have an original idea, but not be creative. Now, your thought might be an original idea, and you may not be creative in the way you express it, but you also could argue that you are a creative person because you had the original idea, okay? So the action really is the definitive part. If you're, you can, you know, originality is really the thing, and then creativity is your, like, expression or you um, creating that thing, okay? So let me give you another example. So today you, you do take that thought, and you do something with it. So if you have a thought and you plan on doing something with it, this creates a problem, right? Because say you have this idea to do something and you don't do anything with it. Well, then you're not being creative because you're not expressing it. But also say you do do something, but you do what's expected. You do, what's, you do what the normal thing is. You do what you would normally do in that situation. Again, you're not being creative. You're just, you know, you're just doing what's expected. So you're not being creative. You still have the original thought but you're not expressing it in a creative way, 
Now, say you take that same thought and this creates a problem for you because any, I, I believe that anything that's in your head that you have to work out is conflict. And if, conflict doesn't necessarily have to be a good or th bad thing. Really conflict just means unresolved issue, right? So if you have conflict in your life, you have this thing that you, you maybe have an idea to start a business, right? And you do all the normal things and you know maybe it works, maybe it doesn't. That Just because you follow through something does not mean you're creative. However, if you go beyond what is expected or if you express yourself in a unique way, then you are creative. So then let's say you take that idea and then you try to find new problems and you don't do the things that are expected or what's already been done, the old rehashed things. You do things in a new way, in an, in an exciting way or a different way, you're being creative. And the way that you express that creativity might be original. It's, it's kind of cyclical, honestly. They're two different things and they sometimes go hand in hand, but they're not necessarily correlated. So again, you can have an original thing that is not creative. So let's take making something as, a, as another example, especially as an artist, right? So you could make something like this, right? You could make a piece of art that is unique because you made it, right? But that doesn't necessarily mean you were creative when you made it. I could have the original idea to create a plate. Now that idea would be original to me if I've never made one, right? So it's original to me, but it's not necessarily original to the world. But anyway, let's say I had this idea to make a plate out of clay, right? That's, and I just, I just form it into a plate and then I bake it and it's a plate and that's it. It was not necessarily creative, especially if I didn't do anything with it. But now if I take that and I use my creativity and I make it into something original, the idea was original, but I transformed it into something expected. But then I used my creativity and the original ideas I had to transform that thing into something unique. So then I, I made that thing original. So again, you could make something that's not creative, but it is original. So they're not the same thing. Again, sometimes they tend to go hand in hand, but that's kind of the difference. So the easiest way for me to sum this up is that originality tends to denote something or a thing, right? A noun, a person, place, an idea, a thing. So it could be an idea that you have. It could be uh, the, a thing that you make. It doesn't really matter, right? Original generally just means unique or one of a kind or first in a series. Then creativity really comes back to the action. So it's it's expression of original ideas or you know it's an expression of, of doing something that's not expected, right? So another way to look at the verse, um, I mean the the definition of create is is one that creates. So being creative is the marked is being marked uh, as one who creates, right? So you're being creative if you're creating something. So essentially those are kind of the differences. Originality defines more so the thing, right? The, the idea or the thing that's created. Whereas creativity is the expression or the action of those things. And being creative, you know, is, is problem solving or it's, uh, you know, it's expressing maybe emotions or thoughts or whatever in a unique way, your unique way. And again, it's relative. Everything is always relative, right? So just because you express things in painting, let's say, like me, your paintings would be original because you made them. But whether you say they're creative or not, that's subjective because you could say they're creative and I could say they're creative, but someone else who looks at it would say it's not, right? So this painting right here, I'm not gonna lie. It didn't take me a whole long time to create this painting. I think it's creative because I'm expressing part of who I am and it's original because it's a one of a kind piece and it's unique, but whether it's creative or not, that would be up to the person who's saying it to decide. So creative is more subjective, whereas original is not as subjective because if something is original, that's pretty concrete. If it's a unique thing or if it's one of a kind, I mean, that's pretty um, hard and fast, right? It's pretty black and white, pretty clear cut. Um, so that's another kind of key difference between originality and creativity. So that's pretty much it guys. Uh, I, I just wanted to kind of address that question. And I, like I said, I answered it on my site, CodySchwabi.com. I also answered it on Quora and just kind of thought I'd bring it to you. But what are your thoughts? What do you think about 
Uh, the differences between originality and creativity. Are we born with both of them? Are we as people both of those things? Um, you know, do you think, like, are my differences or, or the way that stated that, do you think that that's wrong? Yeah, I'm just really curious to see what you think. Uh, but always, you know, if you enjoyed this video, please, you know, subscribe or, or like the video, share it, do something, check out my site, do whatever you want, just anything that you can do to help me. I really appreciate it. Um, but until I see you guys again, uh, Cody out.